Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Max. I'm an incoming sophomore student in the University of the Philippines, Diliman. And my degree program is Business Administration and Accountancy or BAA. So this is my UPD series where I talk about my life as a college student here in the Philippines. For today's episode, medyo kakaiba siya kasi I won't be talking about my life in the university but more on the culture of the students in the university. Let's start! So for today, I'll be reacting to co-tweets to this controversial tweet. Actually, hindi naman siya ganun ka-controversial pero nag-viral siya in the UP community. It's a tweet by Kuya Isko. He's a UP student and ito yung alter ego niya sa Twitter. And ito yung tweet na sinasabi ko. So, dito nilagay niya na confessions that can get your ISCA or ISCA card revoked. So, maraming UP students yung nag-tweet nito pero yung mga co-tweets naman nila is not revoking their scholar status but more like affirming it kasi I believe na when you're a student of UP, you should be learning about the ills of society both inside and outside the university pati na rin yung mga social issues puro social issues yung co-tweets dito guys so I think these co-tweets are affirming the isko or iska card na sinasabi nila kung meron mang ganun so hahatiin ko sa iba't ibang mga issues yung mga tweets na nakita ko and hindi to direct reactions guys kasi nakita ko na tong mga tweets na to before but more like addressing and sharing my opinions about these tweets. Disclaimer lang guys na I'm not talking on behalf of any UP organizations or on behalf of all the students in the university. These are just my opinions and I think wala naman kayo sa opinion ko. So, kung nandito lang kayo para makita yung mga tweets, check nyo na lang yung tweets ni Kuya Isko. Pero if nandito kayo to hear my opinions, yeah, just watch this video. Unahin na natin yung about elitism and superiority. Let's read the tweets. That there are only two universities in the Philippines, UP and others' mindset is shit. Ha ha ha, napaka elitist. For me, super elitist ng ganong mindset kasi madami namang magaling na universities outside of UP. Not only in the national capital regions but also in the provinces. So, tanggalin natin yan guys, yung thinking na mas magaling yung UP sa ibang universities. And UP lang yung magandang university sa Philippines. Next. A lot of UP students are nowhere near brilliant enough to justify their arrogance. So yung mga UP students palaging nababrand na mayabang or superior, may superior complex or mga elitista. In some way, medyo totoo siya for ibang mga tao pero yung mga nakakasama ko naman sa UP, bibihira lang yung mayabang. And yung iba may may pagmamayabang naman. Pero yun nga, hindi natin maiwasan na may mga UP students na wala lang ang may pagmamayabang. Arrogante pa. Next! The UP and others mindset that your profs preach to you during your fresh year is actually toxic because it deems non-UP students as lesser individuals while putting you on a pedestal just because of your school. And it really contributes to why people think UP students are mayabang. So ayun nga, gaya ng sinabi ko, people think na UP students are mayabang. And kasi yung culture din na binibreed ng mga UP profs sa mga estudyante nila, lalong lalo na pag freshmen sila, hindi maganda honestly. It's a big elephant in the room na pinaparamdam sa mga students na mas mataas sila sa mga kaysa sa ibang mga estudyante sa Pilipinas kasi taga UP sila. I don't think that's a good that's a good idea for a national university which is supposed to be helping other people, helping their countrymen. So, hindi dapat pinapa-feel sa mga students, lalong lalo na sa mga freshies na Superior sila sa ibang estudyante sa Pilipinas kasi tiga UP sila. It's bullshit. Next, many are still offended with the UP Yabang brand but it's not entirely wrong. Yeah, it's unfortunately true to some extent. So that's it for the elitism and superiority. Ang main takeaway ko lang dito is, UP shouldn't be instilling that superiority complex to its students lalong lalo na pag freshman pa lang sila. Kasi syempre pag mas bata ka, mas madali kang mapunta sa mga makaisip, maka-absorb ng mga gantong ideas na superior ko to others just because you're studying in one of the premier universities in the Philippines. Di porke tiga UP ka, meaning nun ay better ka na agad to other students. Next, I'll be talking about bad graduates of UP Diliman. Dalawa lang naman tong tweets na to, pero it's kind of true. So, next, we produce the most number of corrupt government officials may lalaban. It's true guys, unfortunately, the National University of the Philippines ay breeding ground ng mga kurakot sa ating gobyerno ngayon. Itong mga graduates ng UP na to, unfortunately, they are in the government, nagiging Supreme Court justice sa sila, nagiging mga senador sila, nagiging presidente pa nga na Pilipinas. Pero look at where our 
country is right now. UP shouldn't be branded as the best university kung ganito yung mga types ng graduates na pinoproduce natin to help our country. Next, UP hones the best and the brightest dictators, fascists, oppressors, elitists, apoliticals, and you can even have a classmate with sa DDS. So, yup, gaya ng sinabi ko, yung mga graduates ng UP, karamihan naman matitino and tumutulong talaga sa country and sa Philippines and to their countrymen. Pero may mga ilan lang talaga na napupunta sa, sa gobyerno and sa business and sa entrepreneurship na nagiging corrupt and nilalaman ng power and nilalaman ng pera. So, unfortunately, with bright minds in UP graduates, may tendency talaga makorap sila ng power and ng pera. And yung sinabi nito about sa pagiging DDS, it's kind of true. May mga kalala kong DDS na papasok sa UP. Pero yung mga friends ko, fortunately, wala naman. Or baka may mga closet DDS sa kanila. Hindi ko alam. <laughs> sa tingin ko, wala naman. Next, we'll be talking about the ISCO personality. So, yung ISCO personality, basically, yung personality nila umikot sa pagiging scholar or being from UP. So, let's read the tweets first before I tell you guys more about the ISCO personality. So, unang-una, it's not a personality. So, yun nga, feel ko, ang kinikriticize nito, yung mga students na walang ibang personality bukod sa pagiging scholar ng bayan or bukod sa pagiging UP student. Next, People who make being from UP the crux of their personality are some of the biggest losers alive. So, gaya lang din yun ang nakaraang tweet. Hindi dapat ginagawang personality trait or hindi dapat ginagawang center of your personality yung pagiging scholar ng bayan. You should be more than that. I kinda hate the UP-centric people you know. People who have padayon as motto. People who say I love you UP shit like that. People who probably laugh at the UP versus others BS of a joke. LOL. Sorry, nothing wrong with being proud, but that superiority shit is hard to stand. Kaya may hasty generalization eh. So ayun nga, honestly, wala akong nakikitang mali sa pag-adapt ng scholar aesthetic. So yung mga padayon, yung mga sunflower, or yung maroon, sablay, and all that iconography ng UP. Pero yung ginagamit mo yung aesthetic na yun, to feel superior to other people or to glamorize the fact na tiga UP ka and yun yung nagiging center of personality mo hindi lang siya magandang tignan for me wala, it just doesn't sit right with me pero minsan, guilty rin naman ako sa overuse of the UP aesthetics especially sa Twitter pero yun nga, there are limits to everything and hindi dapat ginagawang center of your personality yung aesthetic na pagiging scholar ng bayan is cause and is cause can be the biggest bullies and still think they're fighting for what's right. Lol, chill. Don't let it get inside your head. So, yun nga, lagi kasi pinaparamdam ng UP and ng mga tao around UP students na palagi silang tama, palagi silang matalino. So, sometimes, hindi natin namamalayan. Minsan, guilty rin ako sa ganito na kahit na pinaglalaban mo yung sa tingin mo tama, sometimes you're crossing the line and some, sometimes you're being an asshole and hindi dapat ganun. Alamin natin kung ano yung pinaglalaban natin and dapat natin silang paglaban ng nasa lugar lang. Next, I think this will be the most controversial or one of the more controversial topics in this video. Yung UP is getting richer, the students are getting richer, the demographic of scholars are getting richer. Guys, it's true. Kasi more students are availing of review centers. So syempre yung mga ka-afford lang nun is mga may kaya. And aminin man natin o oh, hindi, pero yung mga review center sa to, it's an added privilege, it's an added bonus advantage into getting into the University of the Philippines. So, dumadami yung mga rich kids na nakakapasok sa UP. Hindi naman sa sinasabi kong hindi nila deserve, pero ayun nga, yung mga nakakapasok dapat from public schools and yung mga students na hindi afford sa mga private universities na dapat sa UP mag-aaral, naubusan sila ng slot kasi napupunta doon sa mga richer students. So let's read the tweets. First, you don't fix the imbalance in rich to poor students ratio by making tuition free for everyone because the challenges for poor students start in high school. So um yeah, UP is really subsidizing rich people's education, not against free tuition. So yun nga, gaya na sinasabi ko, yung mga nakakapasok sa UP ay kadalasan yung mga students na may magandang educational background nung high school pa lang. So for example, me, aminado ako na privilege ako kasi nakapag ako sa science high school, then sa De La Salle University. So syempre, 
meron mas malaki yung chance ko na makapasok sa UP kasi maganda yung educational background ko. And aminin man natin o oh, hindi, gaya ng sinabi ni John Mel dun sa previous UP video ko, hindi maganda yung foundation, hindi maganda yung foundation and fundamentals ng Philippine public education system. So, ang nakakapasok talaga sa UP ay yung mga rich kids na afford yung quality education. Next, Parking spaces being a problem in UP Diliman shows how many rich kids are in UP and how most of them are in the NCR constituent units. Yun nga, as a student of UP Diliman na laging nata-traffic sa Katipunan, UP students are getting richer kasi yung mga pumapasok na UP students ay privileged na and may dalang kotse para makapag-aral and makapag-go to go from one place to another inside and outside the university. Basically, mas hawak nila yung oras nila. Most likely, meron din sila mga condominiums. So, we're seeing a reflection of the system here wherein more rich students are getting in the university. Kasi nga, yung mga steps in the UP admission process, yung OPCAT pa lang, pati yung grades, ay may correlation sa pagiging privilege. Of course, yung mga nakapag-review centers, mas mataas yung score sila compared sa mga hindi. And of course, yung mga naka-afford ng quality education, mas maganda yung mga grades nila compared sa mga galing sa public schools. So yung mga susunod na tweets, pare-pareho lang naman ang mga sinasabi. So lalagay ko na lang dito. Pero basically, hindi ko sinasabing rich kids shouldn't be admitted to the university. Ang sinasabi ko lang is, yung system, it will always favor the rich as long as hindi maganda yung public education system ng Philippines sa high school level. Ganun pa man, I believe na we can improve this system and sana more students from poorer families, from poorer high schools will get into the university in the near future. And sana magamit din ng mga mayaman na students pag graduate nila yung privilege na to to help their countrymen. I believe that free quality education should be for all kahit na anong estado mo sa buhay. Don't, please don't misquote me on the things that I will say here in my video. Hey guys, unfortunately, naglolo ko yung memory card ko. So, doon ko natatapos yung video. Baka gumawa ko ng part 2 about university issues and miscellaneous things. Ayun. Ang main takeaway lang naman sa video na to ay hindi perfect ang UP, pero we're making it better for everyone else, especially for the country. Kasi yun nga, we're the National University of the Philippines. So, dapat... Hindi tayo elitista, hindi tayo mayabang, hindi, wala tayong superiority complex, and nagka-cater tayo dun sa mga taong kailangan talaga, lalo na yung mga underprivileged and yung mga less privileged compared sa atin. I think na hindi naman problema kung privileged ka tapos sa UP ka nag-aaral. Ang nagiging problema dun is, if, nagiging, if tinatake for granted natin tong opportunity na to, I believe that we should, we should recognize our privilege and use that to help other people kasi doon nagsisimula yun eh na alam mo na privilege ka and alam mo na dapat mong tulungan yung mga kababayan mo especially as a, as a scholar ng bayan and ayun I think yung mga pinagtitweet ng mga tao dito these are not revoking their cards as scholars of the country but more like affirming it kasi I believe that being a UP student dapat maalam ka sa mga social issues and dapat may pakika sa mga kababayan mo pati na rin sa bayan mo So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know that this is very controversial. Sana hindi mag-backfire ito sa akin. Pero ayun, feel ko wala namang problematic na sinabi. Thank you guys for watching and see you on my next video. Padayon mga scholar ng bayan.